So my enduro bike, my Evil the Reckoning, has been out of commission uh, lately due to a crash that I got into on Captain Morgan's trail in Colorado Springs. Holy shit! Oh. Oh. Yeah. So I've kind of been putting a bit of a hurting on my Santa Cruz tall boy. It is a trail bike with, uh, it's only got 140 in front, which came with a 120. I uh, changed it out, uh, but that rear shock is only 110. So I've been putting a hurting on it. It's been performing flawlessly though. It was a bike that I thought I'd be getting rid of, but I don't know, might hold on to it for a little while longer. I was looking at a Jeffsy, something with a bit more travel. Even for a trail bike, I'd like to have a little bit more travel than 110, but that, that Santa Cruz is holding up well. But today I do need to fix that uh, front, the left uh, brake lever on the Evil the Reckoning because I've been procrastinating way too long. So today I'm going to be replacing this Magura MT7 brake lever. As you can see right here, the lever is actually broken. It didn't just pop loose from the spring, so I'll have to change out the entire lever. So the first thing I got to do is turn this little locking ring for the BAT plug uh, 90 degrees to the left and then take out the spring. And since I'm really bad at losing tiny parts, I'm going to put these in a safe place. Then I'll remove the little MT7 adhesive sticker. Next, I'm gonna press down on the brake lever a little bit so I can take out the BAT plug. Don't put it there, Dwayne. There you go. Now I'll take off the sticker from the other side. And to get the lever out, I just need to knock out this little pin. So I drilled a hole into this board so I can knock the pin into it and I'm gonna use a three millimeter Allen key as a punch to knock the pin out. As you can see here, I left a little bit of the pin in to make it easier when I put the new lever on. Yep, this thing's garbage. Now I'm going to line the new lever up with the pen hole. And I just need a hard surface so I can press that pen back in. I'm going to use the 3mm Allen key and the hammer to lightly tap the pen the rest of the way. Now I just need to make sure the pen is flush. Then I'll put the stickers back on. And now I'll squeeze the brake lever so I can get the BAT plug back in. Finally, I'll replace the spring and turn the locking BAT ring to the right. And with that, the MT7 brake lever is replaced, and all I gotta do is get it back on the handlebars. Nice. Much better. This brake lever was a little uh, too far in, but adjust a little set screw in there it'll bring it further out very nice perfect <laughs> 